Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgon 111, and welcome back to Chained Echoes. Last time we defeated a boss here in the Purple Flame Temple, and that apparently gave us a level up. I guess the Grimoire Shard possibly is the thing that gives us the ability to learn new skills. And so let's see. Oil Slash. Right, oil makes things more weak to fire. It occurs to me that if I'd had this or if I'd used, I might have like oil consumable items during the ghost battles earlier that I was struggling with so much. That might have sped things up. But that seems like a good skill to go ahead and learn. And I also learned some other thingies. Neat. For you, crit up could be good because your crits deal a lot of damage. And raises crit by 5%. And this adds 5% to your character's critical percent. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how those are different. And I could also deal 10% more damage against certain types of monsters. I don't know how common they are. And so I'm just going to go for crit up, I think. Got some more stats. Over here, leg aim is a fourth kind of element, which could help with overdrive. And lowering target's agility. I'm not sure what agility on the enemies quite does. But that sounds good. Let's see. Over here, Victor does a lot of magic, and so magic could be good. I don't have any heavy armor right now. Mind, I think, is defense against magic, and so I think I'd prefer the magic for the offense. So that adds two. That raises it by 10%. And so which of those is more... Well, that's mind, not magic. I'm going to take the magic. I think I want the offense. Then for Rob... Rob has not participated a whole lot. Or attack plus two. Let's just take attack plus two. And then finally, for Len, I could learn a different elemental type. Or I could do magic plus two. Let's do the magic plus two. That seems good to me. I'm really not sure. I don't feel like I know enough of the mechanics and enemies yet to know exactly what's the best way to spend those skill points. But that's what I've chosen. Um, and I guess we can just move forward. Is this going to be the back of... Oh, hey! I was thinking I might want to go back to the anvil. And very conveniently, I'm gifted an anvil right here. So having just gotten some skill up... Well, actually, crystals have to be at least level 3 in order to be you know, like, have any effect. And... No, I guess I have Oil Strike 3. I was gonna say, I didn't really have any that I wanted to combine or that looked like they were any good, but the uh, Oil Strike 3 inside a weapon that I'm using frequently. This does not have any properties yet. And so if I added Oil Strike 3, then every time he uses it, yeah, that seems good. So let's do it. It seems like... Oh no, I can go to the north. So what will we find? A cutscene! Rob says, look up there, the night sky, we're almost out of here. Glenn? What's wrong? Is he going to have a vision again? Nothing. I'm fine. It's been a long day. Maybe we should rest. At nighttime, Kortara is even more dangerous. I sense no evil around. We should rest here. I'll see if I can fetch some firewood in front of the cave. So we're going to make camp? I guess so. I suppose since you get all your HP and tech points back after each battle, like 
the idea of resting at an inn, kind of like other uh, RPGs, where you need that in order to get your points back, doesn't really take effect. Sorry if there have been a few rough cuts, I've had a little bit of a frog in my throat. Sienna says, and so it happened, we reached the palace together. Thanks to fate, we were able to defeat this beast with our combined forces. One sword arm less, and this red-eyed creature would have eaten us. It might be true. Fate's meddling did not stop here. Now you're helping me get back to Tormund. I'm indebted to you. You know how to show your gratitude. I do. You won't regret it. Trust me. What were you doing in Farnsport? I mean, you rarely see a princess who works as a city guard. I had my reasons to leave the castle. I was prisoner within the castle walls for too long. Time to see more of the world. And the kingdom could do without its princess? I knew not enough of Alandis nor its people. The way it was back then, I could never have done my title justice. A very, li li a very liberal attitude, I must say. My brother's no different. Well-being of the people is its highest priority. In the end, my being in Farnsport allows us to carry the truth to my brother, so I guess I made the right choice. I wonder if he'll be willing to receive this truth. This is the last of the firewood. Should be enough for tonight. The wood of an Arania is the most fitted for a campfire. Its flames are powerful and last a long time. You seem to know a thing or two about campfires. Aren't you the son of a lord? Unusual for a young man of your background. Sons of the house of Rymer... <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Must train for a year in the woods as rangers. Why is that? Tradition. Again, sounds very atypical for a young man of your background. It is said my ancestor was once chased from his castle by his enemy. He hid in the forest for a year and was declared dead. Secretly, he'd gathered a resistance that was able to reconquer the Rearmeyer Castle. <laughs> and being a ranger is the region our bloodline still exists. Since then, his descendants have been trained as rangers. What about you two, Killian, Glenn? Your mercenaries? We were once mercenaries of the band of the Iron Bull. That's a name well familiar. You were quite famous. Sometimes our name alone was enough to make the enemy drop their weapons. You speak in the past. We were involved in the Battle of Ornshar. Terran had captured the city, and we were to reclaim it for Gravos. And as you've heard, it didn't end very well. The explosion that devoured everything. Our good name was dragged through the mud, and we lost assignments. That's why the captain took on the mission in the first place. We were to advance the front lines of the vanguard to cut off the supply of ether for their cannons. It was a suicide mission, but we were promised a lot of money. It was foolish of us. But at the time, we thought we were the greatest. Undefeated, we thought we were immortal. Then the worst thing happened. And without Wernshire winning, there was no payout. Killian was the captain's right-hand man, and I was a Skyrimer pilot. We're now the only survivors of this battle. Afterwards, we returned to the Free Cities. It was the end of the Band of the Iron Bull. You know exactly how I see it. As long as we're alive, the Band of the Iron Bull exists. But it's just you and me now. The right hand of a dead man and a pilot without a Skyrimer. As long as I breathe, I won't give up this troop. And what were you doing in the palace? I think this is a story for another campfire. Okay, we're still not going to learn quite what was going on there. Let's get some sleep. Tomorrow's a long day. Okay. So, we learned a little bit more backstory lore, whatever. I'm hoping there's going to be access to another fast travel point. Did I see? Is there a right exit over here? Kind of looks like there is a gap, but I guess not. And so is this just going to go up and take me out to the surface? Fast travel. Okay, great. Step into Kortara. The Kortara Mountains. There's a number of gleaming things, and there's fast travel right at the beginning. How nice. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the map. It's the first time we've been here. And can I actually step off to the left, possibly, and immediately get on another map square? There's some kind of skull thing down here. But maybe it's not important. Okay, kind of a disconnected map. Interesting. 
And if I show location info, you know, maybe until I've gone to it, it doesn't show any names. Those two brown dots are probably like cave entrances or something. All right, so what does this person have to say? Oh, it's just a merchant. I presume you sell the same usual stuff. Oh, no. You sell... I guess the longbow is an upgrade for Rob? And wait, it says the raven cloak is an upgrade for Len. I think I have an extra raven cloak. Have I not optimized my equipment? Perhaps not, which is kind of foolish of me. You're wearing a gambeson, and yeah, raven cloak would be much better. Why did I never do this? <laughs> I guess because I'm a dummy. Uh, I don't think I have any free accessories. Yeah, they're all all currently being used by somebody. Um, are there any other bits of weapons or armor that I should have upgraded somewhere? Yeah, Rob's wooden bow looks like it's kind of the most pathetic of all of them, and so let's see if buying a longbow makes sense. So I think it's going to make sense. So I'm going to purchase one of these. Yes. And then go into my equipment for Rob. And the longbow is... 32 to 39 attacks. That seems like a significant upgrade. And then I might be able to use some equipment to upgrade it even further uh, at an anvil. And we did just pass one recently. Actually, we're at a fast travel spot. So I can travel back here basically immediately. And I can fast travel to an anvil. So I'm going to take a look at that, actually. And sure enough, the longbow can be upgraded from plus 17 to plus 19. And it doesn't cost that much. So I'm going to go ahead and enhance that piece of equipment. And then teleport right back with fast travel. Okay, that's nice. Every time I come back here, I get another little item. Are these crystals? They're not glowing, and so I guess they're not the type of crystals that I can harvest things from. Is this a rock that I can interact with? No. So yeah, it's going to be a new tile set, as it were. There's like a, um, a lizard over there. For me to visually parse in order to kind of like understand the layout. Oh! Uh, oh! I see them now. They look like, uh, I don't know, dinosaurs? Basilisks? Something? Let's try my favorite attack. Horn Lizard. That's the name of these guys. Alright, we did get a critical. We upgraded our criticals. So that's good. And... I guess an armor break is probably good. It looks like they're fairly well armored. And I think Wide Swing sounds good. And it applied oil, I noticed, on the bottom one. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, so yeah, I might swap out for Len in a short bit then. And I didn't notice these guys have a weakness to wind. And this is a wind attack. So yeah, let's do that, and that should be weak. Yeah, weakness. Nice. And then... I can either Yokogiri with you... I didn't notice that I brought myself out of overdrive, which is kind of a shame. So actually what I'm going to do is bring us even further out and use your fire thrust on the guy who has oil, which means he should be weak to fire. Yeah, weakness. Cool. And it might have used up the oil, I think I just saw. And so... If I want to keep Len out for some more double fire damage, I guess I'll use Oil Slash to get this guy oiled up as well. And then at this point, just a wide swing will hit everybody and we'll be good. And possibly might reapply oil, given the weather weapon that you're using. And a pressure point, I think we'll finish this guy off. Great, so one is down. And then this guy's oiled up, so Fire Thrust should be great. Nice. Yeah, it definitely looks like it consumes some oil there. And then you don't have anything that will help bring down the overdrive meter. 
So we'll just steal as much damage as we can and hope that we can end the battle before we even get that far. And so wide swing. It's not quite enough to finish you off, but maybe this last thing... Oh, we're overheating already. But a pressure point, I think, does finish you off, and so it's fine. Great. I've killed some lizards, and I notice that there are some crystals up here to the right. And I might just be able to walk around there before I do. Let's see. Oh, five-leaf clover. <laughs> Interesting item. Uh, there is a place I can drop down here. I see, like, the sleeping lizard. Can I get around to these crystals without disturbing you? Yes. Can I get around to this treasure chest without disturbing you? Also, yes. Silk armlet. Um, tell me about this piece of equipment. Who is in need of an accessory? Um, let's take a look at what this thing is. Silk armlet. An accessory. It gives extra agility and wind resistance, it would appear. All right, sure. We'll get that to you. And yeah, I don't think there's a reason for me to pick a fight. Oh, how do I get out of here? For me to pick a fight with this guy. I see, I can drop back down here and then I just kind of circled around. Okay, that was good. So we got a new piece of equipment. And for the third time, we're picking up something here. Last time it was a rat, this time it's a pebble. So it seems that those particular random drops lying on the ground are randomized. <laughs> random drops are randomized, imagine that. Okay, so I just went to the left. There was a crystal around to the right somewhere. That canyon is huge. It's Dentist River flowing down there. It's the mightiest river on Volandas. You should watch your step. All right, let's not fall in the river. It seems like good advice. Find five, five collectibles. Oh, am I still... Is the chain... Was it specific to the location that I was at? No, the rewards board seems like it's still... And it's just, like, building and building. And so eventually, like, the whole world is going to fill up. And so this is the Cortara mountain range. Find five, five collectibles. And... Remind me in terms of rewards. Um... Uh, view chain rewards, that's what I want. Eventually, if I got up to 16, I'd get more sacred water. I see, but I could, like, claim a grimoire shard now, and that's, like, a level up, which would get me more skills. Hmm. But then I presume I have to, like, redo the chains or something? I wonder. Maybe when I get up to 16, I'll try cashing it in in order to understand. Well, how many do I have in the chain right now? My longest chain looks like it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe 12. I could probably get up to 16, especially if I could get back into the grotto or defeat more horned lizards and some other stuff that I don't know about. Yeah, it's hard to tell yet. Yeah, I feel like not knowing all the mechanics of the rewards with the chains makes this kind of so that uh oh somebody just like popped right out of the world here makes it so you might want to like replay optimally in like a future playthrough or something i don't know that i'll do a future playthrough this seems like it's going to be a long game um okay i don't know anything about you so how shall i begin armor break seems good you're called a medusa viper and I could steal from you. You don't have any particular strengths or weaknesses. So there's a defense break. Um, let's just go for... Well, hmm. I did not deal much damage. So let's do a poetic march so that everybody gets an offensive buff. And hopefully that'll shorten the battle. It's always difficult to tell with a battle that looks like it might not be too hard. Whether you should spend much time buffing up or whether you should just go for damage as fast as possible. And the overdrive mechanic just makes that even more difficult to decide exactly what to do, I feel like. Okay, wide swing. Perhaps we'll apply oil. Yeah, the top one got oiled. So I could switch to some fire damage from Glenn if I wanted. And these guys were stealable from. So let's try pilfering. But it didn't work. What a shame. 
All right. Um, overdrive meter's still doing okay. I won't be able to do anything to cool it off from you. So let's just continue trying to wear one of them down, since it does seem like they have a lot of hit points. Starry eyes. Everybody's blind, I see. That's not good. Hmm. I don't really need this, but it would cool down my whatever. I could also do an ultra move. I've done one of those in a while. Let's do an ultra move. Tower of Steel. That'll cool down my overdrive and also deal a bit of damage. It missed on both due to our blindness, I suppose. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's a shame. I know I have some eye drops. I only have one. Yeah. Uh, do all of my attacks, like, do magic attacks also require me to not be blind? No, those still land. So in that case, let's swap out for Len. And have her use a fire thrust on this one because it's oiled. Alright, that deals a lot of damage. And then oil slash would cool things off, and so can I use it on this one and... I'm blind, but the oil did land, it looks like. Okay, so it seems like while I'm blinded, presumably I want to use magic. Also, uh, Victor just went down. That's bad. He's one of my two magic guys. I think this would be an appropriate time to use an angel wing. Because I kind of need him right now. And... This one has oil... I'm not sure if she's going to deal enough damage to finish it off, though, and I really need to get one of these two guys off the battlefield. So we're going to have both of them attack over here. Oh, you're still not dead. Uh, that's not great. Um, heal all will cool down my overdrive, and I also need it. Maybe I do want to claim a Grimoire Shard in order to level up my characters again. I feel like I'm somehow not playing optimally, or this is just really hard throughout. Um, oh wait, offensive buff. I don't see blindness. Did it wear off? I think the blindness wore off. Let's find out. Wide swing. This time it landed, yeah. Okay, so the blindness does wear off during battle. Good to know. Um, this one no longer has oil on it. But this will cool down my overdrive, so let's use this attack anyway. Seems good. And pressure point had been doing pretty good. So we'll keep using that. Someone got paralyzed. Uh, Victor is low on HP, but uh, this one remaining enemy is also low on HP. And so I'm just going to see if I can finish it off with a bunch of attacks. And I think the answer is going to be yes. Yes. Okay, great. So that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, skill level up. Oh, hey. Skill level up. Tell me about that. So I don't see any particular skills. Oh, fire resistance moved up to level 2 as your passive, it would appear. Um... That might be the only one. I guess if I do this... Uh, no. Killian had something on level 2 as well. Poison resistance. Okay, so I guess some of their innate resistances uh, are some of the things that have been equipped for the longest time. And so have benefited the most just from the skill points I get from all my battles. I do see this um, digging spot thingy here. And at this point, I also feel like we've made a bunch of progress today already, so let me go ahead and drop a new save. Just to make sure we have one. So I'm guessing up and left, probably. Can I see another one of those things? Not yet. And how would I get around to that treasure chest? Okay, I'll try to remember the various ways that that's pointing. But I guess we'll need to see a second one before we'll know what to do. Hmm, three horned lizards. I'm not sure that I could take them. Can I go around them? It appears that I can. Finger giving something? <laughs> it was an odd item name and I didn't really catch it. 
Buff overdrive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if they're sleeping, I think I can get around them, and so I'm going to choose to do that for now. Bloody compass? We're getting some weird items here. And also, what is my current quest? Crossing the Kortara Mountains. Got it. We just got to the Kortara Mountains, and now we need to cross them. I suppose. Is there any chance that they're sleeping on one of the... on top of one of the, um symbols that tells me where I need to dig for the digging spot. I think there's at least a possibility of that, and so actually I am going to choose to intentionally get in a battle here and try to play well. <laughs> um, so let's just deal as much damage as we can and try to get into overdrive ASAP. Oh boy, they defense broke me. That's not good. Alright, the good news is Sienna seems to be the only one who took much damage. And... I'm wondering if I should do TP regen. Or if I just want the offensive buff. I think I just want the offensive buff. Alright. Let's see. Oil Slash would cool me down too much. So we're going to do a Cross Slash. All the Lizards have taken relatively little damage so far. Still have not managed to trigger, trigger Petal Storm in a while. Uh, X Slash will at least give you a debuff of Bleed. And if I'm going to do that, let's do it on another one who's going to take longer to die, and so the Bleed can take effect for longer. Oh, staggered. And I could swap you out for Rob. Ah, oh, Sienna went down. Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay. Um, and the only person who could bring it back up without using an item is Glenn, and Glenn is staggered. So that's kind of rotten. So I need to swap you out because you're staggered. And so Rob could Pandemic. Let's do that so that we get some dot damage and it also cools down my overdrive meter. And then I don't know that I have like a good strategy right now. Oh, I think it's because I don't have a good strategy right now. Also, this guy didn't seem to get poisoned, so let's try to just finish you off with a big attack. Alright, they are dealing a lot of damage. I'm kind of in some trouble here. Should you helping hand yourself? I think no. I'm going to do a wide swing because I think that might take one of them out. Uh, it did not. And then I'm going to switch back to you, because you should be unstaggered now. And do I want to do a heal, or do I want to do Awakened Spirit? Let's do Awakened Spirit and get Sienna back up, because she's one of my main damage dealers. And then you can definitely finish off this lizard. Who acts next to one of the lizards? So yeah, I definitely do need to finish you off so that only two of them are going to attack rather than three. And that one that's bleeding is still bleeding. That's fine. And you're attacking Glenn. That's actually great. He's pretty well armored and has a bunch of hit points. And so... Nothing you do would cool me down very much right now. And so what do I want to make sure happens? I think I want to make sure that Sienna stays up. So I'm going to give her a snack. It's delicious. And then I'm going to X slash. You still have some bleed on you, so I'm going to try to get bleed on this one as well. So we've got dot damage working in our favor. And then Glenn doesn't have anything that'll keep my overdrive down, and so let's swap out again for Rob. And Rob also doesn't have anything that's going to keep the overdrive down, actually. <laughs> um, that's kind of a shame. 
Yeah, all this stuff is going to get me into overheat. Do not like, do not want. Okay, Rob, you just sit back and defend for a moment. And Sienna's been staggered. Well, at least I could swap her out for Len. And then you can actually cool things down a little bit. Uh, these guys are strong to earth, and so fire is going to be just fine. Let's go ahead and try to get another one off the battlefield. There we go. It bled to death. And so now Killian is super low. So I could helping hand to make sure people stay up. I think I should just keep trying to deal damage. I just need to outlast him. There's only one enemy on the battlefield now, so it's not nearly as scary as it used to be. Um, yeah, uh, poison, I think we decided it doesn't work on this, so I'm going to do a power shot. Great. Does some good damage. And a fire thrust will overheat me, but it also might just kill him, and so it's not going to matter. And it didn't kill him, but then the bleed did. Okay. So I managed to take that out. There was not another marking over here. So it did not help me locate the buried treasure anywhere nearby. Which I've already lost track of, so I just want to walk back down here and witness it. Once again, it's here. And it's either almost straight up from here or way up to the left. So if it was almost straight up from here, it would be up in this region somewhere. And I still don't see another one of those. Nor do I see more loot, but I see a mountain pass and a cutscene. What do we got going on here? Impossible. Some kind of soldier camp. How could Terran set up a camp so close to the border so quickly? By knowing in advance what was going to happen in Farnsport. So these are Terran soldiers. Why the long faces? This is great news. They can escort us home. Stop. The bridge is closed. Turn back. Need to let us through. Our way leads to an urgent mission to Torment. Guess there's something wrong with your hearing. The passage is closed. Get lost. The only thing getting lost is your job, soldier. You don't know who you're talking to. I am Princess Celestia Valkyria of Terran. We're supposed to believe you? I don't care what you believe. Take me to your officer. Let him check my birthright. Mathy, uh-oh. What's that noise? Send these people away. It's Mr. Bad Guy. This woman claims to be the lost Princess Celestia. Lost, eh? I beg your pardon? You do indeed look amazingly similar to the princess. Identical would be the fitting word. <laughs> I like how she doesn't mince words. Forgive my distrust. It's rare to meet lost princesses in the middle of the wild. Allow me to ask, where do you come from and where are you going? I have a bad feeling about this. Do not mention that we were eyewitnesses at the banquet. I know. People say a new war is on the horizon. I want to stand by my brother during this time. So what do you want? Not going to put funny ideas in your brother's head, are you? Uh-oh. <laughs> Has someone else put funny ideas in his head? What I do and not do is none of your business, General. This unnecessary war... Unnecessary? Ascania's emissaries from Terran and Gravos slayed that evening. I myself escaped, escaped by the skin of my teeth. Is this cowardly death of our countrymen not reason enough for war? Don't you dare interrupt me. Or do you want to claim that a demon invaded the palace? <laughs> Opened his big bad mouth and devoured everyone? Who's going to believe you? My brother trusts me. As well as me, when he gave the order to find a proper trigger for a new war. My brother did that? Didn't go exactly as planned, but the random attack of this beast steered the story in a suitable direction. Your brother will get his war. As for you, Prince Frederick would be happy to see you return, but for Taryn, you are useless. How dare you talk to the princess like that, General? But you could still have a use for your homeland. The prince ordered me to do anything necessary to start this war. What reaction will the people show when they hear about the murder of the princess by Escania? Uh-oh. I don't like it. I checked it. She's an imposter. This is to be punished by death. Kill her. What? One moment, General. You've wasted enough of the General's time. Leave no survivors. It's about time our little Felix gets some exercise. Uh, he's not little. 
A giant from Baki? We saw them at the battle in Wormshire as well. Terran is taming them like dogs. Does not look particularly tame to me. In their veins flows the blood of the Berserkers. We stand no chance. Uh, so let's run. Or is he going to break the bridge and we're going to fall? What's going on here? Uh, what? Ro. Lynn, Rob. I remember seeing this portrait before, but I don't remember. Were they someone who was at the banquet? Row? A single sky armor from Farn Sport, huh? If they take the princess hostage, this must not happen. Soldiers, get the magicians. You're just in time. I said I owed you a favor, remember? I'm a man of honor. You're the best, Row. Careful, Glenn. He is lying. Len, watch out! Princess. What's the matter with you, Row? I spit on uh, my honor when it comes to preventing this war. I'm not here to settle my debt with you. It was said until the moment your lie was lifted, Princess Celestia. What? You're coming with me. This war must be stopped. I can't have my newborn daughter experience any more bloodshed and hunger. Right, I remember I'm talking about. This will not repeat. That's why I want to prevent this war, Ro. He kidnapped me. My brother has every reason to declare war in Escania. But if I speak to him... Silence. You know your brother's long for this war. There's no way around it. Your love for your brother blinds you and leads us to ruin. Your brother's love for you, on the other hand, might give us an advantage. If you really care about Escania, come with me. I beg you. If I follow you, it's all over. My brother's anger will ravage like a storm, but I can calm him now. Clear the way. So be it. By force, then. Okay, we've had, like, multiple kind of three-way standoff things happening in this game. It's very complicated to keep up with everything that's going on in the story, I feel like. So now we're fighting Ro. Okay. Um, he is something I could steal from. It looks like he's weak to water. So let's try stealing. I got a copper nugget. That did not really seem worth it. He's weak to water, so I probably just need to start with an armor break. And then from here, what does light game do? Lowers target agility by three turns. Let's try it. Alright, agility break works even on this machine. And he's weak to water, but I don't have that element. What was he strong to? Wind. So don't do wind. So I guess we'll do earth, or do I want a poetic march? It does seem like it could be boss battle-y. So I should probably do this. Give everyone a buff. Alright, uh, let's see if it's possible to make this thing bleed. It does. Okay, so that's a debuff that we can do. And this will cool down my overdrive meter. So that seems good. It also deals a lot of damage. Got a crit in there. That's very nice. And then someone does need some healing, so now's a good time to do it. And then down here, I guess probably just Earth. I should maybe have Rob team up with you, maybe. Uh-oh. Paralyze. You've gone and paralyzed. I thought it was Sienna, but Sienna doesn't show up as paralyzed over here. So... I'm gonna do another Pilfer then, if I can. Nothing to steal. Okay. But I did cool off my overdrive, so that's fine. And so... Cross Slash will cool it down even more. And you still have a bunch of debuffs. So, so far this seems fine. You're not dealing all that much damage to me, and I'm doing a fine job keeping up with you. Uh, leg aim. Yeah, let's lower agility once more. And cool down my overdrive. And... I might need more TP, and I need to keep my overdrive going, so let's do this. And then I think we're due for another X-Slash. 
extended the bleed. And, uh, oh wait, you're currently paralyzed, it seems like. So let's not try to do anything here, and let's instead swap out for Rob. And you could... I wonder if this thing is poisonable? I think let's just power shot and go for as much damage as we can. Alright, not bad. Counter stance. So that probably means it's gonna have some kind of counters to some of my attacks. Um... I'm going to use a wide swing. Counter. Drone Thunder. Ouch! Okay. That was not good. That brings everybody down to 1 HP. Uh, danger will Robinson Danger. And he's going to attack again before I get a chance to use my heal all. Um... Let's see, I need to bring my overdrive down, so I'm going to choose to do this. Petal Storm is active. Oh, he's countering with this thing again, but it's going to do zero damage because everybody's already down to one HP. So I need to cleanse that is what I need to do, actually. I've done the wrong thing here. Okay, in that case, do I have something that can heal everybody by any chance? Um... I mean, I have a snack that can heal one person. Len is the one with cleanse. Um, because it is the case... Yeah, counter stance is basically his buff that I need to get rid of. So in that case, I'm going to give a snack to Sienna to ensure she stays up to be able to swap out with Len. Now he's using shield up. Yuck. <laughs> Do not like. And I think you should also... Actually, no. You should swap out to someone who's capable of doing a heal-all. There we go. And it also brings down my overdrive meter. That's great. And now you are going to swap out to someone who can cleanse. And so they got rid of the defense buff, but you still have your thingy, maybe? Um, no, it got rid of all of your buffs. Okay, cool. So in that case... Uh, helping Hand would bring down the Overdrive and still be in Overdrive, so I'm actually going to do that. Alright, that's fine. You're able to take it. And now... Remind me, you are weak to water, strength of wind, so Earth Drums would be your best attack, Victor. Yeah, that works. Alright, that dealt a bunch of damage. And then armor break. Yeah, you don't have broken armor anymore, so let's reapply that debuff. Defense break and mind break. And then you were weak to water. So let's try a water attack on you. Yeah, absolutely. Alright. And you're using a strong laser and down goes Victor. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's helping hand the Len then. And then do I want to awaken spirit on Victor? Or do I just want to deal damage? Or is there a third option? Third option would be an ultra move. Um, I think that's awaken spirit. Everybody up seems good. It seems like other than his one crazy counterattack, he doesn't hit more than one person at once. Okay. So we basically just caused him to waste his attack by knocking Victor right back down. Alright, so I'm getting some good weakness attacks. And at this point, people are relatively healed up. So let's just deal some damage. I'm noticing my TP is starting to get low. And so I do need to worry about that. And you still have TP regen going. 
I could awaken Victor and then he give us all TP regen. So let's do that. You want to keep using Water Thrust, although it's going to put us into Overdrive, which is unacceptable. So I think we have to swap you out for Sienna instead. And then... I think she's maybe just going to do a basic attack in order to keep us in Overdrive. Petal Storm is active. Oh, hey. That's actually super great. Thanks for that. And this will bring down the Overdrive and keep Victor up so that Victor can give us TP regen. Um, at some point in the not too distant future. And that Oil Slash would also... Uh, that's not great though, because... I already have a Water Weakness and Fire Weakness isn't as good, so... Let's do an Armor Break. And now, Petal Storm I thought was active. Why is it not lit up here? Hmm, I thought I saw something about Petal Storm being active. But apparently I was wrong. So in this case, let's keep the overdrive meter down by swapping back and doing another water strat. Water thrust. Strong laser. Alright, if you're only hitting one guy at a time, that's for the most part pretty good. This will bring my overdrive meter down and give me my TP back, which I really need. So that seems fine. And... Yeah, Len is low, so this will bring my overdrive meter down. And then I really should start thinking about using an ultra move at this point. Um, but let's go ahead and water thrust, since that's the thing you're weakest to. And then... Actually, do I know what Rob's ultra move is? Let's take a look. Uh, it basically is give us buffs and get rid of enemy buffs kind of thing, and so that does not seem particularly useful right now. Um, so let's instead just do a power shot. He's sitting at 1 HP. So I do need to worry about that a little bit. Um, so yeah, I think I will worry about it by giving Rob a stack. All right, Victor takes a hit. You should probably deal some damage. Uh, and you could do so with an ultra move. So let's use this one. We've used it many times. 131, not bad. Len can almost do that just using her basic move. And... Yeah, Power Shot's fine. Like, I'm laying down a bunch of damage. Okay, he's using Shield Up, so now I need to definitely work on getting rid of his debuffs. And so right now the thing that would help me the most is... Well, this would help too. Overdrive Meter's a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna do this. Give some offensive buffs. But you desperately need to cleanse to get rid of his defense buff. So there we go. It's gone. And now overdrive meter is not super great. And so let's just try to deal damage and not get overheated somehow. And here's a how. Power shot. It's going to actually cool things down. Oh, he's using counter stance, though. So I need to get rid of that now. So I don't want to attack him. And I do want to... Cool down. So this will work. So I need to cleanse once again. So that should get rid of his counter stance. Oh, no, it missed. Uh, does that mean he still has his counter stance? Hold on, I'm unclear. Also, does anyone need a helping hand? Yes. So I'm going to helping hand on Len. Alright, everybody's still up. 
And so, oh no, it did get rid of his counter stance, it does appear. Okay, great. So in that case, um, let's swap out just to get some overdrive meter back. And let's apply another armor break. We haven't done that in a while. Great. And now I can just go back to water. That dealt 122. And then even Earth would be okay. Sure, let's just try to deal some damage, even though people are low on HP. I feel like we're near the end of the battle. Paralyzed Flash. Resisted. That's good. Um, you're out of TP. So... You could just do a basic attack. Sure. I'm trying to end this thing. Uh, you're almost out of TP. And oil uh, overdrive meter is a little bit worrisome, so let's also just attack. Um, I can afford to water thrust, and it's my most powerful thing, and so we have to do this even if we're risking overheating shortly. And I did just overheat. Okay. So if I want to cool things down... Um, I don't have a lot for that. I guess defending brings me back into overdrive. And then a wide swing would cool me down even more. I'm worried, really worried about how low we are on various resources at this point. Oh, it applied oil. Nice. Um, a heal all would actually be pretty great. My overdrive meter is a concern, but my hit points are also a concern. Okay, you shield up. That means I need to cleanse. And so this is going to overheat me. Oh, it's going to overheat me. But I have to get rid of your defense buff. Otherwise, I won't be able to do anything. So I'm going to cleanse. All right, and now I'm overheated. So I'm going to take some extra damage. But we're still alive. And so now it's probably time to defend. And... A Poetic March would cool things down. So let's take it. Ultra Move Bar is almost uh, re-established. Um, I don't have enough to use any of those, so I guess I'll use an item. Or I could swap out to Rob. Here we go. And Rob... If Rob just attacks... Like, the overdrive meter is still reasonable. So let's have Rob attack. I don't need you for cleanse right now, and you can't do anything that's going to help with my overdrive meter, so let's swap back out for Sienna. And you could at least apply this for another debuff. Alright, how has this thing not gone down yet? I've dealt so much damage. Alright, and I'm overheating, which is not great. Uh, I don't have the TP for Helping Hand. So I think I need to use some sweets here to get some TP back. Who needs the TP the most? You. So have some sweets for yourself. And then in order to get rid of my overheat, I think we need to switch back again. <laughs> and then this will just overheat me again, but I'll have a chance to cool back down before he's going to next attack, based on the- oh, I think I finally got him. Oh, and a Grimoire Shard! Neat! Okay, so this is going to level up my skills and I'll be able to choose some more skills again. He's going to explode! Why, Len? Why? Is he going to break the bridge? He is breaking the bridge. Oh, which means we can't go back? Eventually we'll find some fast travel, right? Or do we fall? And Rob's the only one who didn't fall? Nope, he's jumped down with us. I think. Whose fate do you wish to follow? Oh! Our party's getting broken up, I believe. Um, I pressed a button. Oh, here we go. Glenn and Len, Killian, Victor, and Rob, or Sienna. Oh my goodness. Um... Glenn and Len are probably my favorite characters. 
Killian, Victor, and Rob will give me a lot of opportunities. Um, so I think let's do Sienna, because that'll be the most mysterious. All right. Cursed mission. It's not worth the money. They survived. They'll make it without my help. I'm out of here. Okay, so when it exploded, like, everybody, like, went in different directions, I guess. No signs of them. Not even their bodies. I see. The soldiers are looking for us. Maybe they already escaped? Nor that it matters. Once their wanted posters are up, it won't take a week until they hang from the gallows. They don't need eyewitnesses for the mugshots? We were both standing closest. You really remember what they all looked like? I don't. Now that you mention it, not really. That could be a problem. Okay, so we'll still be able to hide out. <laughs> I only remember the woman in the back had red hair. <laughs> of course. Sienna, unfortunately, stands out. She carried a sword of the Suna and wore a red dress, right? Also, her eyes were green, and she had a birthmark under her left eye. <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say that she was 1.8 meters tall and weighed 55 kilograms. No wonder they don't remember what the others looked like. They were staring only at me. So at least this one mug shot should work. She'll soon find herself in jail. There's no way to escape that fate. She'd have to do a truly heroic deed to be pardoned. <laughs> Something like finding the real Princess Celestia and bringing her safely back to her brother in Tormund. <laughs> okay, I think that's our quest. Maybe I can catch her at the White Rose Inn that Sir Victor talked about. I could still escort them through the Fjordwoods. Fjordwoods. I believe there's a town east of here. There might be a way to cross the canyon. Okay, and I shouldn't go there. Great. But I did manage to pick up another bloody compass. Okay, new skills are something that, once again, we will have to check out at the beginning of the next episode. So I'm going to say, I hope, as always, that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again with more Chained Echoes, where all of a sudden <laughs> our party is broken apart. And we're going to have three different threads to keep track of before it all comes back together. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.